What's up guys, and if you live under a rock, I don't think you've actually seen it then. Uh, Battlefront 3 got a trailer, or a real trailer. It's short, it's about two minutes, but it is amazing. Of course, I will be using it for the background footage. I hope you guys do not mind. If you wanna go check out the actual trailer, I'm pretty sure it won't take any energy at all once to find it. You're probably about two clicks away. But anyways, behind all this stuff, of course, at a Star Wars convention, there is a lot of interviews going on with different companies and different groups of people, I guess. And people have been getting their hands on DICE, asking them questions, and DICE has been giving them answers. And some of these things are actually really important, and I'm surprised they haven't really announced it within the game itself, but of course, gameplay will be coming soon. Now, some people have actually gotten to see gameplay of it, but unfortunately, they don't have their hands on it, so they can't really show it, but they can talk about it. So I've kind of gathered pretty much all the information that I could probably do at this point in time, and I'm going to give them to you guys. So, one of the two massive, major, biggest things you probably should know about Battlefront 3 is that, one, there is no single-player narrative campaign. So, uh, there is no storyline to it, there is none of this usual thing you get in games, it's just going to be something else, I'll talk about that soon. And the second major thing is that there's no space battles. So that kind of makes everyone rethink what this game is. But DICE also said that they wanted to focus on planetary battles. So they are definitely going with the battlefield, battlefront combo type thing. Of course, you've seen gameplay of X-Wings flying around. And of course, that is definitely going to be jets of Battlefront. I don't know about the map scale. I'm pretty sure they should definitely up it. And of course, the entire trailer is actually filmed within the engine, pretty much in-game, kind of not really. But that is what the game will look like if you have a PC on Ultra settings, probably. I don't know about consoles, but it's just the truth. Going back to single player, uh, I'm going to put air quotes around single player. You can either play it solo or you can play it with co-op or just one other friend. And this is just single missions. And these missions, they aren't just random missions you do. They are missions that all tie together to somewhat form a story. If any of you are wondering what era this is, well, of course, you saw Darth Vader there. So that gets rid of the prequel era, and that's where it isn't. That was something else I had to say. I don't know if you guys can put two and two together. The planets they actually did show in the trailer were Tatooine, Endor, Hoth, and a new one I actually have not heard of. It's called Sullust. That was the last one. It looked really cool because it was kind of plain. Endor was the one that it took place mostly on. The foliage and all the particles were just mind-blowing. There was so much stuff going on, and it is really what I wanted it to be. Because Endor on Battlefront 2 was, it was good for its time, but going back to it now, of course, they look kind of eh, iffy. Hoth was shown for a quick second along with Tatooine, and these two look just like what you thought they would. Snowy, and one with Sandy. These next few things don't actually have to do with the gameplay. It does have to do with the actual game itself. On December 8th, they will be giving you a free DLC, the Force Awakens DLC. Hmm, I wonder why. If you're one of those people that live under a rock, you won't know that Star Wars The Force Awakens is coming out Christmas, and why not give a DLC to the Battlefront people? I mean, just, just kind of, why wouldn't they? It's almost too obvious, too perfect. And if you do pre-order this, you will get it a week early, so you'll be getting on December 1st. This DLC will contain usually what most DLCs will contain. It contains maps, but this map is in a form of a planet. So there may be multiple places you can be within the planet, and that kind of makes sense. Battlefields have taking place on Earth. They'll probably add extra guns, maybe different classes. I don't know if they're going to do the rotation type thing. What I have heard is that if you have played Battlefront 2, you will know that when you play as a Stormtrooper, you can't aim in. If you do play in first person on the computer, you can't aim in. I just kind of said that, but in this one, you can. So this is DICE. They're going to be making it as much as Battlefield as possible, but just Star Wars covered everywhere and i'm gonna tell you this it is exactly what star wars needed they nailed the star wars theme for this it's almost perfect for them to actually get the name of it if you guys are wondering when this will be released in the u.s it has a release date of the 17th of november and in europe it is the 20th although it says uk 20th but i'm pretty sure it's just europe i don't know why they just say uk and as expected 
This will be coming out on the PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. As for the 360 and the PS3, I have no idea. Anyway guys, that is all I have to say about Battlefield in this point in time. It is the second day of the Star Wars convention, so Battlefront 3 gameplay will definitely be coming out over the next two, three days. If you want to keep up with the latest details about this amazing game that is coming out, subscribe and like if you guys cannot wait seven, exactly seven months from right now. Exactly. April 17th. If you're watching this a day late, six months, 30 days. Yeah. But I'll probably see you guys tomorrow in a new video talking about the gameplay that will definitely be released. Don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or a day after that. Either way, this is Star Wars Convention. This is going to be Star Wars. And Battlefront is not the main focus of it, but definitely the side focus. The main focus is the movie. But, you know, it's just kind of other things. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I never know how to exit my videos. So, peace.